Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we have a great product for car detailers which helps them to determine the paint thickness as well as it helps them to make a better decision for the paint correction process. So now let's unbox it. So this is a coating thickness tester, basically also known as paint thickness gauge. We are going to unbox it. This has a great packaging. So now let's see what we get inside this box. First, there is a user guide. By this user guide, you can learn the way, how it operates and how it works. What are the major settings that you can do. Second, uh, we get this wire and one rope extra. This is basically to keep your uh, coating thickness gauge a little uh, safer in hands. And this is a charging wire as this has a 1000 mAh battery which we have told earlier as well. You can recharge the battery again and again after the use. Then we get two plates with it. One is of aluminium and another one is of iron. As this coating thickness gauge works on ferrous and non-ferrous both material but the material should be painted by clear coat so that we can measure it. So we get both the plates with it. We also get the calibration scales, I'll show you, by which the first time you have to calibrate this machine in order to check uh, the calibration of the coating thickness. So before going to use this coating thickness gauge, I would like to tell you something about it. This is the most important device you, a detailer, should have before going for a paint correction. And uh, let me tell you why it is important. Because uh, it helps you to determine the paint thickness because every uh, different brand has a different uh, uh, paint thickness. So it basically determines whether the paint is uh, what micron does the paint has, what mill does the paint have and whether there is a variation in the different panels of the paint. And if there is a different variation in the panel of the paint, you might can detect whether the panel, one of the panel is repainted or not. Which helps you to determine your paint correction process as per the needs. And the second most advantage of what I see in coating thickness gauges, you people have now started using paint prediction films as well. But usually they don't know what film they are buying at what micron. They do not have any meter or any measuring tool to measure it. It also helps you to determine the thickness of the paint prediction film as well. So the major two advantages of uh, having a coating thickness gauge is it helps you to get the uh, paint thickness before to detail a car. And second, when you are going to apply a paint protection film, you can also test that paint protection film from the bar you have purchased, whether this is a good film or not. Even sometimes you see most of the experienced detailers as well have some difficulty in measuring the paint. So I recommend this to most of the experienced detailers as well, use these kinds of tools which can help them to determine their paint uh, before detailing a car. So now let's learn how to calibrate the machine. Uh, in order to get the perfect uh, microns so I'll just tell you how it will work so first we have to go into the menu by clicking on the power button on the single time after that click on calibration here it is the screen you can show uh, you can see that calibration just click on calibration don't go for zero calibration because we will going to do it on the base only directly so go for base calibration only so as uh, most of the car metals are of iron so we are going to use the uh, ferrous material for the testing first the base is clear it is showing here 0 by 0 0 0.0, 0 so that uh, put 0 by 0 calibra uh, calibration 0 0.0 Remove this and you will hear a sound of beep. After this, the calibration is done. Don't put the another calibration scale before this beep sound. It will ask till 1500 microns. So here it is showing 102 and we have put it the sheet of 102. Now it's asking for 253 micron. I'll show you this is the sheet for 
It's asking for 508. The last is the last limit of this uh, device is 1500 micron. It will show the calibration has been completed. It will come back. So you can do same for the non-ferrous material like aluminium. Now we are going to put some test. This is the base. Zero point zero micron. And I'll show you one more thing. It has two modes and uh, different graph styles here is the reading number of readings you want to take l1 l2 i'll show you here this is the uh, reading modes and everything it shows the main display when we put it scroll down it shows the number of readings you want to take and here it comes the graph i'll show you all the things after taking some readings so i'll put a 50 micron sheet to test So it shows 50.01 micron. I'll put it here. It shows the reading L1 0.0 and L2 is 50.0. When we'll change the reading. It's a 102 sheet and it shows 101 micron. And here the second reading L1 is uh, you can see is changed by 50 and then another one. I'm not calibrating this. I'm just putting some so that we can check the uh, calibration is done properly or not. It is 253 micron and here it is showing 257. So it's approximately 5 uh, micron gap or 4 micron gap. But that's a very minor gap. Uh, almost 1% or 1.5% gap. I'll put here a 1500 sheet now to check about the material yeah. here it shows 1540 micron and it is showing up uh, an arrow because it cannot measure more than this so when you get some uh, red lines or red indications that means you have to uh, put it again It's approximately a 1500 mm uh, coating. I'll now show the different types of reading you can see here as L1, L2. Here we get the graph. You can see here, uh, you I, I you can notice that graph has come after 50 microns or 102 microns. We just shifted to 1500 microns, so it shows the major difference. You can also check this in your car paint thickness as well, the graph linings, and then uh, you can see uh, the readings you have taken on every panel, the graph, it changes. So this was all about the calibration and we tested it. So now I'm going to test it on the car paint. Uh, I'm going outside to check the car paint and uh, we'll give you some shots from there as well.